Got a good amount of rainfall. Of course, we want to be extra safe. The roads are slick. We are watching our river levels and streams rise. So there are some dangers out there, and we do have a flood advisory for Oahu, but this is actually well needed rain. So we're in a major drought, and this is how we get out of droughts. We get out of droughts with either tropical systems or Kona lows. That's most of the time, and, and this one's going to help. You can see it's spinning off to the west. All that moisture right now uh, streaming over Oahu. Had showers earlier this morning for Kauai. That has ended. Flood advisory, though, now in effect for Oahu until 12:30. So watch means rain could happen. Oh, oh, advisory warning means it's happening right now. And certainly, if you're on Oahu, you know it's happening right now. We've got additional showers moving in from the south. So far, rainfall rates coming in about a half an inch per hour. That's good news. We, we'd uh, obviously be in more trouble if they were coming in heavier than that. But that still can cause some flooding as a result. That flood advisory is in effect. So roadways, streams, uh, normally prone spots for flooding could potentially see some flooding off to the east. Maui County getting a good amount of rain here as well. And then over towards the Big Island, some light to moderate showers. We'll go ahead and track the rest of your forecast coming up in just a bit late. You see a mass of wet weather out there. Thanks, Pete. Well, as the Kona low passes over parts of the island, many residents throughout the state will continue to see heavy rains. Now, this particular Kona low will be wetter compared to some that we've seen in the past. So some Kona lows big us, give us big windstorms and maybe not much rain. Some Kona lows bring us a ton of rain and thunderstorms and not much wind. That's kind of what we're dealing with with this one. We could have some thunderstorms that produce some strong gusty winds and maybe some localized thunderstorm damage from, from strong winds uh, tonight into Thursday. But in general, we think that this is going to be a big rain event and that there could be some pretty serious flash flooding. Well, that's Robert Ballard, and he says although this Kona low isn't as strong as some previous ones, residents should still be taking safety measures, especially if they know that they live in areas that are prone to flooding.